Welcome to Megamation Direct Line Training. This video will look at the Work Order Completion screen. To access the Work Order Completion screen, go to Module, Maintenance, Work Order Completion. The Work Order Completion screen is used for updating and completing existing work orders. Because this screen cannot be used to create new work orders, a work order number is not automatically populated when the screen is opened. Modify or complete an existing work order by either typing the number in the work order field, or if it is not available, click the magnifying glass button to bring up the work order search screen. In the work order search window, enter one or multiple criteria to search by. Then click OK to run the search. Choose the needed work order from the list by clicking on it and clicking OK. Notice when the selected work order comes up that all green fields are already filled in. Status and priority fields are filled in and cannot be modified from the work order completion screen. To add labor and material details to the work order, select the labor and material tab. The information on this tab is equipment specific, so if there are multiple pieces of equipment assigned to the work order, labor and materials will be entered for each piece. Switch between equipment by clicking the drop-down menu at the top of the screen and single-clicking the equipment required. To add labor, choose the trade required by clicking the trade field and using the trade search. If the trade had been filled on the work planning screen, it will carry over to the work order completion screen. Add an employee by clicking the search button in the employee number field and choosing to display only the employees assigned to the trade specified or active employees only and hitting OK. Choose an employee from the display list and click OK. Once the employee has been filled in, the date field will populate with today's date and if labor rates have been filled on the employee entry screen, they will also populate. Enter the number of hours spent by typing the number of hours at regular time, time and a half, or double time. Add a second employee by tabbing past the labor fields and following the same steps on the second line. Keep in mind, labor information filled on the work order completion screen is actually charged to the work order. Add materials by typing the part number or click the magnifying glass to search for the required part in inventory. See the inventory module video for instructions on how to use the inventory detail search screen. If a part is chosen on the work planning screen, the part number, warehouse, and description will carry over to the work order completion screen. Just enter the quantity used in the quantity field and the date autofills with today's date. Labor and material costs are calculated and filled in the labor and material fields. Next, go to the Summary tab to see a summary of all labor and materials charged to the work order. Once all labor and material information has been entered, the work order can be saved and will remain open to be modified and completed at a later date. If the work is completed and the work order needs to be closed, go back to the General tab Enter the completed by. This is a text field, so type the name of the person closing the work order. The completed date field autofills with the current date. This can be changed by clicking the drop down and choosing from the calendar. The closing comments field is a text field and can be filled with as much text as needed. Note this area is text only and cannot accept pasting pictures or spreadsheets. Once completed by, completed date and closing comments are filled, save the work order by clicking the save icon in the taskbar and the status of the work order will automatically change to CL. The work order is now closed and can no longer be modified. Music